Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moods Instagram page and I decide if I'm going to be putting them on my wish list or if I think they're a total washout. This week, due to the holiday, I am doing this a little rushed so we are just doing a voiceover for this. If you haven't seen the rest of my videos in this series, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards where you can see how the video normally is and see everything that I've done since January of this year. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Starting off first with an update about that new Lush Cosmetics foundation. Apparently it's A, limited edition, and B, only available in the UK, which I don't understand a limited edition foundation. But from how not good the rest of their cosmetics line seems to have done, I can kind of understand it. But also, why advertise it? Why do all this if it's A, limited edition, and B, only in one country? Like, I don't know. I don't understand that. So, that's not happening. So, e.l.f. is coming out with some mix to match foundation shade adjusters. I don't know about the shades themselves, but I am looking for something to darken foundations that are too light for me right now. So, I think, like, that bronze shade would do good for foundations that are too that are too light for me right now in the middle of summer. So I would look into getting that one because I'm sure it's affordable, but I really, seeing how bright those shades are, like how yellow that yellow is, I really don't know how it would work. But you know, it's something I'd really, like with the price point, I'd be willing to try that. Okay, so what's that new Kylie palette? Like, like it's, even like I didn't think anything could be more boring than her last nine panda palette, but she did it. She did it. It's more boring. I don't get it. I ugh, oh, what what what? <sighs> I don't know. I'm not gonna be getting it. Okay, this seems super gimmicky, and I really don't understand it. Why is this brush in the shape of a star? Does it do anything? Does it help anything? Is it just to look pretty? Why? And why is it thirty dollars? don't get anything about this brush. I know it cosm like it cosmetics brushes are really nice and they're soft, but I don't own any of them. I don't really think they're worth the price because you can get better ones for cheaper. But what is this? What is this? Like, oh, I don't get it. Okay, so this is the full, I guess, new collection coming out from Nabla Cosmetics. I have not tried any of their products but I would be interested in trying one of like their blushes or highlighters up here in the corner because those look beautiful and I like the packaging, I like how they look, so I might try one of those. They come out July 12th, I might keep an eye out, but it is a brand that I have not tried before. Okay, so these Makeup Forever face palettes, like I get it, they're supposed to be your all-in-one palette, make it easy to just throw a face on and go, but I don't know. I'm not interested in the products themselves. I think that that one peachy blush looks really nice, but the rest of the palette, like if I cover up that blush, I'm totally disinterested, completely. Ooh, Stila. Stila, 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 Stila's after my heart. Stila is coming out with new vivid and vibrant shades of the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Oh, these look beautiful. That green, I need that green in my life. I need that green, I need that purple, I need that blue. Oh my god, they look beautiful. I need all of these. I need all- are these already out? Please already be out. I think they're already out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I think they're only at Ulta. I'll have to go find them. Oh, look how pretty these are. They're beautiful. Okay, this is something that I need. Look at them. Yeah, odds are I'll be picking up, if not most of them, a couple of them. So this is interesting. Paris Hilton is coming out with a skincare line, I guess. Sure. Um, I'd be really interested to see some reviews on this line, like some long-term reviews, kind of like a long, like in-depth, I've tried these products for a few months review. But if it gets good reviews, I might try it out because I am looking for some new serums. I am looking for some new eye creams. So this could be on my list, but then again, it's like luxury priced, so I don't really know if it's going to be worth the price. Okay, so this new palette from NYX. 
At first I was intrigued. I was like, okay, that looks kind of cool. Not exactly Morphe, not exactly like what they've been doing. But then I really broke it down and looked at the colors. There's nothing there that I don't already have. It's a big palette and it's $35. Yeah, it's $35. Honestly, if it had been 20, I would have picked it up because it's it seems to me worth around that much from NYX. They're doing a better job of their prices because I know if they're stupid like elements palettes, they charge 30 just for that. So I think they're doing better, but I don't think this is something that I need, especially for 35. So Melissa Michelle is coming out with another collection with Ulta. I didn't get her palette the last time, but this one looks pretty cute. I mean, I the only thing really intriguing me is that green heart. Cover up the green heart and it's just like a super neutral palette, but you gotta admit the packaging is beautiful, they seem like good products, and I think it's a really cute idea for a collab, but it's just one that I'm not gonna be reaching for. Guerlain is celebrating their anniversary with a new colorful meteorites cushion product, which this looks beautiful. Just looking at it, it's amazing. But I can't even imagine the price, and I can't imagine what it's actually going to do. So it's pretty to look at. Pretty to look at. I will never be getting this. <laughs> Ever. Wet n Wild's new collection that's coming out is called Written in the Stars. That has a lot of potential, but also a few of their limited edition collections have been falling flat. So I would take a critical look at what products are going to be in this collection. Odds are I'm not going to jump and buy the box again, but if I do see individual products that look interesting, I would jump on the individual products. I'm just due to my experience, I probably wouldn't jump in on a full box again. Mm, Charlotte Tilbury. I've never tried anything from Charlotte Tilbury, and this palette looks amazing. I definitely don't need any more highlighters, especially for $58, but it's a beautiful looking palette. Not one that is feasible for me. I don't even know where I would buy Charlotte Tilbury, honestly. But it looks pretty. <laughs> looks really pretty, just I won't be picking it up. So this new BH Cosmetics palette. At first I was like, oh, that looks really pretty. But then I look at it a little bit more critically. If I cover up the red and the blue on that bottom row, nothing about it intrigues me nothing and that's a the majority of this palette is glittery i think if they had done more of a um s not subtle but more of a full face like throw some nice orangey blush shades in there make some nice face highlights and then do a wide range of eyeshadow colors with like the other eight ten pans that would have been nice an all-in-one face palette from bh cosmetics would be incredible especially if their prices but mm, this falls a bit flat for me. Vizier has finally came out with magnetic packaging, which as they should, and they came out with this new palette, the Cool Mattes too. Honestly, with the rest of the shadows in my collection, I don't think the Vizier ones are worth the price. I really don't. You can get better quality ones, you can get better packaging from a variety of other brands. And this color scheme is just your basic cool tones. You don't need this, I don't need this, Nobody needs this for $80. Nobody. Okay, and I think that's everything for this week's episode. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you did. I hope everyone has a happy and safe 4th of July if you're here in the States. If not, just happy July 4th to the rest of you. You can celebrate anything you want. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.